Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to see about the DOM hierarchy with some examples. It is a very simple uh, topic, but again a very important topic as usual. So let's understand what is DOM first. DOM is nothing but document object model. We all know that what is W3C. W3C is Worldwide Web Consortium and they are the people who are taking care of all the standards for the web. W3C has defined a standard object model uh, which is known as W3C DOM for HTML elements from a browser. Whenever you have a browser, you have got lot of objects there, you have got lot of components there and all of them are related in a hierarchy and there is a standard hierarchy already available and that is called as DOM. You knowingly or unknowingly are already using the fundamental DOM that is available for you. So it is already there. What I mean to say is, whenever you open a HTML, you have DOM already pretty much defined there and this session is going to tell you how exactly the DOM is uh, hierarchically structured as well as one example for you to understand how are you using it already. There is nothing special that we need to know in this uh, DOM topic right now. But understand that this is the hierarchy, this is what is structured already and this is easy to understand. Whenever you open a HTML, you naturally have a lot of components there, lot of elements there and all of them are actually connected as a tree structure and that's what DOM presents you. There is a tree structure that is presented to you and that tree structure will help you in correlating, will help you in understanding how exactly the components are used there. DOM is just not for JavaScript, just not for anything. It is naturally there for all other scripting languages, which means there should be a hierarchy pretty much clearly defined for the components being used in any scripting language and that's what DOM is all about. All the browsers will follow DOM. Because of this, the JavaScript code will work on all browsers in the same way, which means I draw the uniformity pretty clearly for the uh, hierarchy, for the DOM and that enables me to work with JavaScript in any of the browser available in the market. XML DOM is there, which we will see later, and browser DOM is there, they are different. So please do not misinterpret the XML DOM with browser DOM. For now, you just understand that this is a tree structure that is available not only for your uh, JavaScript, not only for your uh, scripting languages, whatever you know, it is available for any scripting language. And now, this is nothing but it is a hierarchy. This is a structure that has been defined for the components that you have in your page. That's it. It's a very simple thing. Now, hierarchy. I have a window. Window is nothing but whatever you have in front of you in the laptop is called window. The window may have a, a document and frame. They are interlinked. A document may have multiple frames. Let's not confuse it much now. I have a document. The document may have multiple frames. And then I have a location, I have a history. All these are to be seen later. For now, let us just take document. The document will further have layer, link, image, area, anchor, applet, forms. I am going to take this forms right now. Text, text area, file upload, password. You must have used this password field. Hidden. You are seeing the password hidden at some of the applications, right? That's it. The password hidden, submit, we know what is it, reset, we must have used it, the radio button, the checkbox, the button, we have used button already, select option. All these are connected, uh, all these are hierarchically connected right now as you are seeing in front of you and this is called as the hierarchy of objects, that's it. We have got a hierarchy in front of us and this is called hierarchy of objects, very simple. We are going to see a simple example right now which will help you understanding how to interpret, how to work on the DOM uh, based learning. That's it. Now I have, I have got a form here. The form name is user login and inside that form I have got username and password text boxes. I have got username and password and input type is text, input type, type is text, the name is username, username. Now the DOM the document object will refer to the HTML document, which means the document object refers the HTML document wherever the body tag is there. You know that, right? So that is it. Now inside the document, we have the form object. This is called the form object. 
this is the form object and now you can see that the document object is there inside the window the document object is there and inside this i have got the form object now you find the connect now inside the form object we have two text boxes come back here the form object is there and we have the text here so inside window i have document and inside document there is form object and inside form objects i have text boxes now how do we uh, have the uh, clear learning right now according to the dom we can access the value inside the text box with the javascript like this document the first level hierarchy document dot form now you can see that here document dot user login user login is nothing but the name of the form then what is it username is the first text box username dot value that's it this is how you are going to retrieve the value for the first one this is the simplest way you can access the elements by name now we can see one example that will make you understand things better i have got a form by name balance inquiry and i have got a button here submit button is there on submit valid account will be called now how dom will work here now first thing you can see that here i'll do it again for you now how do we uh, this is a form right i have already told you what is a form now to get the value now to get the uh, correct value str is equal to document document is the first level hierarchy balance inquiry is the name of the form account number comes from here you can see that account number comes from here the value is hard coded here and it is jack so how does it go through dom very simple when i press this the balance inquiry will be connected the form name will be connected here next thing the account number will go here and next thing the hard coded value jack will be going here this is how dom is used now str will have jack in it that's it this entire method this entire visualization is what we get clearly through dom i repeat it you can see it again str is equal to document dot what is balance inquiry balance inquiry is nothing but name of the form what is account number we have it here in the field next value that's the one that we have hard coded and in case we we will actually take it from the user and that is stored in str and this is how str gets it it's a very simple thing now we'll see one more example but this time while i have a form by name balance inquiry the action need not be you can see that i have got no action here no action mentioned here there can be an action to call balance.jsp it can be a html page that you can call again as an action now in this case i am going to also validate so what are all the things that i am going to get str is equal to document dot balance inquiry what is the balance inquiry the balance inquiry is taken from here the second one is account number the second one is account number and that's also taken from here dot value if str dot length equal to zero which means account number is not entered so you can see that i am collecting the content through dom structure here and then the str will have the value here and if str is equal to zero the account number is not entered this is the simplest thing that i can show you right now we'll go with the most complex thing sometime later we'll have one question quickly here for you guys which of the following is statement about uh, which of the following statements are true about dom w3 standard of course true document is the root object no window is the root element yes form elements can be accessed using form object yes true i'll see you again in the next session with more content about this dom thank you very much for following my channel if you have any questions suggestions inputs please go ahead and type it uh, i'll definitely respond thank you